The key at Teradata is to know what the user community is querying and how they're querying it. You may talk to them and they say, you know what? My favorite query is selecting everything from the table where the last name begins with C. And you go, really? And you go, yes. So if a ton of users are doing this, take a look at this partitioning statement. We're partitioning by the last name in a range N, but we're going to partition where last name starts with A or B or C all the way through the alphabet. And if it's null, it goes in the unknown. So we'll take a look at how this partitioning looks in the next slide. We are now partitioning by A's, B's, C's, and you can see as the last names are sorted on each amp, that's the way it's going to lay out. You know, I wasn't sure if their last name was Davis or Davey. I'm going to run my query now. Select everything from my table where the last name is like, starts with D-A-V percent, and now the parsing engine is going to look at that and say, let's do an all-amp retrieve from a single partition the D partition. A lot of queries are based on the like statement, between statement, and that's why this partition can be very effective. As you can see here, it's crazy, but we're actually going to do a case end where we've got the actual product name less than apples, less than bananas, less than cantaloupes, grapes. So when users query and say, hey, I want to find out all of the things between apples and grapes, it's not going to do a full table scan. How nice is this? Multi-level partitioning, range in each interval one day. Then we're going to put the state codes in there. So now we'll have multi-level partitioning within each day. Brilliant. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. If you have questions, we have answers. Check out coughingdw.com for some great offers on our training books. Unleash the genius within.